In this video, I'll discuss the key features of scanning electron microscope or SDM, as well as sample preparation for this analysis. In the previous video, I look at the basic principles and mechanism of scanning electron microscope. Scanning electron microscopy is a tool of choice for many industries due to its ability to image materials and structures with submicron resolution. This picture illustrates the typical layout of an SDM, which encompasses the electron gun, electromagnetic lenses to focus the electrons, a selection of detectors to collect the signals emitted from the specimen, and a vacuum chamber housing the specimen stage. The electron gun, which is composed of electron source and accelerating anode, typically accelerates electrons through 1 to 30 kiloelectron volt accelerating voltage. Ac uh, electromagnetic lenses, which are composed of condenser lenses and objective lens, are used to focus the electrons into a beam. Adjust beam astigmatism, move the beam across the specimen, and to scan the beam to generate images. SCM can take specimens of up to 3 to 20 cm in diameter depending on the specimen stage installed in the chamber. The pressure inside the SCM chamber is usually low vacuum, tends to 10 to the power of minus 4 Pascal. A specialist variable pressure SCM or VPSCM and environmental SCM ESCM can operate in reduced vacuum, up to 4 kPa, to inhibit evaporation of volatile components of the specimen. In sample preparation for SEM, careful specimen preparation is key for good electron microscopy. A specimen preparation and cleanliness can save days of wasted effort in microscopy time and image analysis. Dirty specimens lead to SEM images of the surface dirt. This is especially true for secondary electron imaging, where they are emitted from the surface top 20 nanometer. A specimen which have accumulated layers of contaminations, such as hydrocarbons from prolonged exposure to air or grease from fingers, will have secondary electron images strongly affected by these contamination layers. It is essential to keep specimen in clean environments such as sealed boxes, desiccators, and vacuum packs. Water and humidity exposure can be reduced using desiccating media or storage in vacuum chamber. A specimen from dirty environments such as oil, aqueous solutions or air can have their surfaces systematically cleaned by methods including soaking in solvents and ultrasonic agitation. It is important that all clean samples are subsequently handled using gloves. Because metals already conduct electricity when bombarded with electrons do not require any preparation. However, the non-metals need to be prepared with spotter coater. The specimen is provided with a thin conducting material layer, usually gold. By using argon gas and an electric field, gold is attained. An electron from the argon is removed by the electric field, which gives rise to positively charged ions. The negatively charged gold foil attracts these positively charged ions. The argon ions expel gold atoms which fall onto the specimen, covering it with a thin conductive coating. Non-conducting samples can be imaged with environmental SDM or SDM in low voltage mode. Removal of water is also important in traditional SEM, as the water molecules will uh, vaporize in vacuum, 
creating an obstacle for the electron beams and obscuring the clarity of the image. Newer SEM no, uh, no longer require a full vacuum to operate. These devices produce lower resolution images, but they, uh, they open up the possibility of examining a whole range of previously un unexaminable samples that are wider for industries and other disciplines. In the next video, I look at the transmission electron microscopy or SEM, and I'll discuss the basic principles and mechanism of this characterization technique. I'll also give you some examples of uh, TEM images. As I mentioned earlier, this video is part of a series of videos on material characterization techniques. If this is your first time here and you want to learn material characterization techniques, please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching this video.